We are getting a more firsthand look at the aftermath from Tuesday's tornado ripping through northeast Jackson. 12 News Alex Love is live off Saratoga Drive where power is still out. Alex? You know, Melanie, when you drive through the Ridgewood Road community, you can see how, you can see how severe this storm was. On many street corners, there are dangling power wires and remains of trees that are still getting cut up, and, and that's contributing to the massive power outages we see in these neighborhoods. When you look behind me, you can see how severe the storm was with trees down in front of many homes. And, this, and, and people have been trying to hook up their generators and clear what they can from their yards and driveways to try to get out. This particular tree where I'm standing has been in, in, has been in front of the home where the Lauderdale family has been living for 37 years off Satarsha, off, off of Saratoga, excuse me. Other homes have trees smashed right into the house. A disastrous experience all over in a matter of minutes. Well, I could see the wind blowing. I could hear pine cones and limbs hitting the roof. And then there was a sound almost like an explosion. And that was probably when the tree bit, bit the dust. Some people we spoke to informed us that when they spoke with Entergy, they said that it could be another two to three days before the entire area has their electricity back. Live in Jackson, Alex Love, 12 News.